when you start giving your two cents on different subjects and um, different things happening, that's when people are really gonna start tuning into you. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. I strategically use video to grow my brand through trying to create videos around what my two cents is on different things and especially things that are happening in real time. So when you think of video as you're being a media company and that you're trying to bring breaking news and your opinion on things, when you start giving your two cents on different subjects and um, different things happening, that's when people are really gonna start tuning into you. When you start giving your opinion and you have a great opinion. <laughs> you know, when people start really feeling like your opinion is interesting and against the grain, that kind of thing, that's what I've realized over the years. So I try to strategically create videos that I'm giving my opinion on different things and um, kind of what I feel about certain things going on at the time in real time, breaking news stuff, stuff of that nature. Um, but also posting on all platforms. You know, you, you should be on all platforms. You never know what platform uh, a client or a prospect uh, is gonna come from. So you have to be everywhere. When I'm diving into current events or other things happening, what I'm talking about is, like for example, um, there's an election coming up. And a lot of people think, oh, if this person wins or that person wins, it's really gonna affect my business. No, it's not. Okay, so that, that is my opinion on that subject. One thing I like to do from a real estate business when I'm doing my weekly email, this is something you guys can incorporate, is I'll Google my area, I'll click the news tab, and I'll look at articles, recent articles. Now, some weeks I'll look through that list of articles and I'll say, there's nothing interesting here, or this is all old stuff, or just nothing really. But every once in a while, something will really stand out to me. And I'll read that article, okay? And then I may incorporate that into my weekly email. And I, I don't use video in my email because I feel like that can get red flagged and go to people's spam folders. But however, on social media platforms with video, you could literally take that same article, spin it, you know, bring that to a video format on your different platforms, you know, inform the public about this breaking news moment and give your opinion on it. Um, so there, there's tons of different things you can do in terms of, you know, current events, um, different, you know, avenues, there's all kinds of things. So just staying on top of, you know, what's happening via internet, you know, restaurants opening up in the area, restaurants closing in the area. There, there's all kinds of, of things you can do in terms of current events. When it comes to trying to use video to convert uh, more sales, uh, the, the biggest thing is, is to be yourself, right? Because the, the main purpose for all my content, for every phone call I make, for every email I send, is literally to build a lifelong relationship with my clients and customers. So the conversion, what I want you to understand is that the conversion is not the closing, but they haven't quite mastered communicating that to their prospects. So when you can figure out and you can work on your communication skills via phone, via in-person, via messaging, via email, you know, I, I've really got to a place where I feel like I'm really good at communicating that I care about whoever is watching or reading or listening to my content through my content. I feel like every piece of content I put out there, people realize, wow, this guy really cares. And that's what people need to think of when they see your content, and that's what's gonna help you convert much more out of your videos.